In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at three more functions that are available for working with arrays in the underscore JS code library. Now to make use of this, you can either download the file and include it in your web project, or you can reference it here from a CDN like this to make use of it. Now the three functions we're going to take a look at are index of, last index of, and sorted index. Uh, index of and last index of are very similar to their counterparts on the array prototype in JavaScript. Basically, you have an array, you pass in a value, and it will give you the index of that value. In the case of index of, it starts from the beginning of the array. With last index of, it starts at the end of the array. So let's come in here and create an array here real quick. We'll do an array of colors, and we'll say red, blue, orange, yellow, black, we'll do red again, we'll do purple, we'll do blue, and we'll do white. Okay, so making use of the underscore index of function is actually quite simple. We'll just do console.log, we'll do underscore dot index of, now we have to be sure to pass in the array as the first parameter. And then we're going to pass in the value we want to search for. So in this case, we're going to search for the color blue. So now we can save that, switch over to our web browser, reload our page, and we'll see that the index value here is 1. So blue is the second color, which is an index of 1 in the array. Now. If we had a sorted array, let's say we had something along the lines of var numbers, um, and we'll use the range function provided by underscore. This is going to produce, produce for us an array of numbers, 0 through 19. In fact, if we want to see what that looks like real quick, we'll just comment that out and say console.log. Switch over to our web browser and reload. We'll see we have a list of numbers 0 through 19. Now, we can use the index of function for this to locate the index value of a particular number. So if we want to, we can say console.log. And then we can say index or underscore dot index of. And we'll say numbers. And we'll specify the number and now if we save that and reload, we'll see that it comes back with 4, okay? So 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, so the index number for 4 is 4. Now, if we want to, we can actually pass a third parameter to this called uh, true, and this is going to tell underscore that our array is in some type of sorted order. And that will allow it to use a better algorithm for actually finding our, our value in the array versus just doing a brute force going through each item from start to end. So if we save this, we can come over here and we can reload this and we see we get the same value back. Um, that's purely a, an internal uh, uh, search algorithm choice that underscore makes based upon you passing in true or false. The output value, though, should, however, continue to be the same. So coming back to this, we can also work with last index of, which instead of starting at the beginning of the array, we start at the end of the array. So I'll just copy this right here, uncomment it. In fact, let me comment this up here real quick. And we'll say console.log index of colors, but we're going to do that last index of, and we'll save that. So now instead of finding this blue here, it should find this blue here. And if we come in here and reload this, we'll see that we get an index of 7. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the last blue in the list. Now what's really interesting about this is that the last index of actually allows us to specify a third parameter that basically gives it a starting point. So we can do something along these lines. We could say last index like this. And then we can come down here. 
and now pass in a parameter. But instead of, we're going to give it last index minus 1. Now what it's going to find, instead of finding this blue here, it's actually going to find the next last index of blue, which will actually be the original one or the first one that we had. So we can save that, come back to here, we can reload. Whoop. We have a, a dot here. Let's change that to a comma. And we'll reload again. And now we get one, which is the index of blue here. So you see here with first and with, with index of, we can go from the beginning to the end. And with last index, we can go from the end back to the beginning. And we can easily find items in the middle by passing in this third parameter of last index of and um, and starting from, instead of the end of the array, starting from the point where we last found an item. The last function we want to take a look at is the sorted index function. The sorted index function is actually kind of interesting. Basically, you give it a list, and you give it the value you want to search for. But instead of it looking for that value, it actually looks for the correct index at the point where you could insert that value in the list, and the list would continue to be sorted. So for example, if we did something like this, we did var tens, and we'll just do our range function here again. We'll go from 0 to 101, and we'll do a step of 10. So now what this is going to do for me, this is going to create an array of numbers by tens. So we'll just do tens like this. And we'll comment out that console log above, go to our web browser, reload, and we have 0, 10, 20, all the way up to 100. Now, using sorted index, I can do this. Specify my array. Then I can specify my value. Now when I do that, we're going to see that it's going to come back and tell me that I can insert it in between 10 and 20. So if we come here to our web page and reload, we'll see that we can insert uh, 15 at index 2. So here's 0, 1, and then 2. And then 20 would then move to the third index. So I could insert this value basically between index 1 and index 2. And the, the, uh, the array will, will continue to be sorted. So if we want to do that, we can actually come in here and use the splice function, which is part of the array prototype. We can say tens.splice. And then we can call this function like this with our index value. Now, the second parameter here is the number of items we want to delete. We don't want to delete anything, so we're just going to leave that at 0. But then now we can actually take our value that we want to pass in like this, and now it will add it to the array. And so we'll just copy this here, and we'll display the new value of our array, reload this in a web browser, and now look, we've inserted the value 15 into the array, and the array has maintained its sort order, so we don't have to call sort on it again. Very efficient, actually. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do with retrieving the index values um, based upon a certain value within an array with underscore JS. It really does um, add a lot of extra functionality to what the JavaScript array prototype does and um, really does make working with arrays a lot easier.